Sukhoi Su-47 Burkut, Burkut, or the Golden Eagle, wasn't just a jet fighter. It was an experiment in future air combat technology. Its defining feature, the forward-swept wing, offered a tantalizing glimpse of what could be. A forward-swept wing is a unique aircraft wing configuration where the leaping edge and often the quarter cord line sweeps forward from the fuselage instead of the more common backward sweep. Uh, this design has captivated aircraft designers for decades due to its potential benefits, but inherent challenges have limited its widespread adoption. Advantages. Enhanced maneuverability improves an aircraft's agility, particularly at subsonic speeds. This is because the design alters how air flows over the wings, allowing for tighter turns and sharper maneuvers. Shorter takeoff distances influence lift distribution, potentially allowing for shorter takeoffs due to increased lift generation at lower speeds. This could be beneficial for aircraft operating from short runways or carriers. The seeds of the forward swept wing design were sown decades earlier by the Central Air Aero Hydrodynamic Institute, a prominent Soviet research institution. The Sukhoi Design Bureau wasn't starting from scratch. SES AGI had a long history of exploring unconventional wing designs, including research on captured German Junkers Ju-287 jets from World War II, which also featured forward-swept wings. The Su-47 project emerged during the late 1980s, a period of intense competition in military aviation technology between the Soviet Union and the United States. The American development of the F-22 Raptor, a highly maneuverable fighter with stealth capabilities, likely spurred Soviet ambitions to create a comparable aircraft. Forward swept wings granted the Su-47 exceptional agility, particularly at subsonic speeds. This made it a dream for dogfighting, a key requirement for the Soviet Navy seeking a carrier-based defender. Additionally, the unique lift distribution allowed for impressive short takeoff distances, perfect for operating from smaller airfields. However, these advantages came at a steep price. Aeroelastic instability. A major challenge with forward swept wings is their inherent instability. As the aircraft gains speed, the wings tend to twist upwards due to aerodynamic forces. This upward twist in turn increases the angle of attack, creating even more lift and further exacerbating the twisting motion. This can lead to a dangerous positive feedback loop if not actively controlled. Structural complexity. To counter the aeroelastic instability, forward swept wings require a much more rigid construction compared to traditional designs. This can lead to increased weight and complexity in the wing structure. High speed performance. The benefits of maneuverability and lift distribution may diminish at high speeds. Additionally, the forward sweep can create drag issues at supersonic speeds. Despite the inherent instability, the Su-47 boasted incredible maneuverability. To counter its wild nature, Sukhoi employed a sophisticated fly-by-wire system. This computer-controlled system constantly monitored and adjusted the aircraft's position, essentially acting as an electronic co-pilot to keep the Su-47 stable during flight. The result? A fighter capable of mind-bending maneuvers. Western analysts speculated the Su-47 might possess some stealth capabilities due to its debut around the time of advanced stealth technology development. While concrete evidence remains elusive, the possibility of a radar absorbent coating adds another layer of intrigue to the Burkut's design. It's important to remember, however, that the overall shape of the aircraft wouldn't qualify it as a true stealth aircraft. Conceived in the late 1980s, the Su-47's fate became intertwined with the collapse of the Soviet Union. This political upheaval significantly impacted funding and ultimately doomed the project. Although the sole Su-47 prototype still makes appearances at air shows, it serves as a reminder of a revolutionary design cut short, a victim of both technological challenges and a changing geopolitical landscape. 